Hi everyone and welcome back. Welcome to my YouTube channel and we are talking about uh, the full stack master playlist where we are building end to end application in each and every video. So in the last couple of videos we build a production ready express application and we have seen the building a simple authentication service in the express and TypeScript and also build a production ready uh, application in express with all the building blocks of express MVC framework. Now, what is the next major thing we are going to talk about is what is next? So that is the good question and I'm going to answer it. We are going to build, we are going to explore all the other options to build an API platform. We can use a Nest, uh, Nest.js. I mean, this is a framework and my channel is full of uh, Nest.js content, but I'm going to create a simple auth API platform using Nest.js. Okay. So that will cover most of our REST API journey. Then we will move to the GraphQL. How to build a GraphQL API implementation. Like uh, let's say if you want to build the GraphQL system, then how can we do this using Nest.js? So that is another major work we have to do. I mean, I already have covered these things here and there, but the thing is here, I'm trying to combine all of these. So you will get uh, on one single place all the api platform implementations so we covered nest.js with rest api with the graphql and then you can also think about okay simple uh, grpc implementation okay so i will just try to add a third point because you can build the api using rest using graphql using grpc using trpc so we will just talk about the rpc simple express type script app so this is also the API platform we are going to build. And the fourth one is we are going to build TRPC API platform. So what this is adding, this is, this is giving you the whole opportunity to understand all those concepts. So you can choose when to use what. Now recently I'm just covering all of these GRPC, TRPC, REST, GraphQL and all the different implementations. So you will understand even I did a webinar to explain all those different aspects we will be talking about these one by one so this is how the tool set work i mean these are just the tools right now you can just choose either express or either graphql or some other technology so here let's say this is express or nest yes because these are the, the framework which we are using to play around with all these different things right so either you can use uh, nest.js or express and then you can just use all these different libraries let's say if i want to talk about simply graphql graphql you can implement you can add you can build using express and in the express also there are different libraries you can use express graphql you can use apollo you can use uh, yoga graphql So these are different options you will get uh, when you try to implement because every vendor is providing implementation in their own way. When you're talking, talking about uh, just building a simple GraphQL, you can use Express or you can just use Nest.js, right? You can just use a build here. You just need to replace it with a Nest.js and Nest.js only uses Apollo GraphQL or Apollo Federation. Both are supported by Nest.js. Okay, so this is like uh, when you are talking about building something using uh, using GraphQL, you can just take the advantage of it. Okay, now talking about the TRPC. TRPC is something new which I'm covering in the T3 stack application, and using TRPC, I'm building lots of things with the Next.js, Prisma, and all. So I will be covering TRPC. Let's say how you can build. The API platform using TRPC, whatever you are building with a, with a just a REST APIs or GRPC or GraphQL, same thing you can build with the TRPC by just having some different flavor of doing it. Okay. So these are like major aspects of, of full stack mastery. Once you understand all those aspects, because I'm not teaching here the React, Next.js, because there are thousands of the videos already available and people are already aware how to build a Next.js app or React app or something like that. So after doing these four videos, I already have these couple of uh, Nest.js, I mean, 
thousands of the videos on the Nest.js, I will say. GraphQL with the Nest.js, gRPC with the Express TypeScript and TRPC API platform development. After that, I'm going to add some tiny, tiny or small full stack application on this. So let's say I know REST API development and I want to use React, how you can patch, how you can marry both, both these things together to build your own application. Because we are going to just start with these very basic examples so you can get uh, understanding of the whole full stack. Okay, and on this playlist, I will keep adding the full stack examples React, Nest.js. Okay, Next.js. So, there are, I mean, when you do a full stack development, you get a dot different technologies and different stack. So, we have React, we have a Next.js. From API side, we have a Nest.js, we have Prisma, we have Typo RM. And what else? We have Express, we have TypeScript, right? We have TRPC. So all these combinations we are going to create a really nice combinations to build the standard applications let's say if i talk about different stacks i can just use react and nest.js this will give me my application right it's nest let's say first okay then i can use react js plus express typescript this is maybe example another full stack application then react.js plus yoga graphql this will give me my another application key then i will talk about next.js plus prisma for the orm fourth i will just talk about next.js prisma next auth and typescript tailwind everything right this is five and then next js plus trpc and plus prisma another application right six similarly you can just keep adding things here and it's not like small small applications we are going to create a small and a big applications so i'm, I'm really proud that i'm doing it and there are i got a couple of feedbacks that this is really going to be helpful for the developers because when we talk about the technology stacks and all we all get lost with these different names so while building the application you should think about what protocol for the client to server communication either you are going obviously it's mostly http but which which kind of implementation either it's a rest graphql grpc trpc then what framework what orm uh, either i'm going to use sqlize type orm prisma uh, is it a server side rendered framework or a client side react or next.js what should i use then for the authentication what should i use i should i use next auth should i just write my own auth service should i use a simple external auth provider like auth zero or something like that so this is really interesting and we are going to cover some really nice good examples after covering these four videos so stay tuned guys first my target is to cover these and there is already another playlist parallel I'm building which is on T3 stack. T3 stack is all about TRPC stuff with the next JS, Prisma and next auth. So all those both the playlists are like uh, walking together and covering lots of new concepts for the API development and a full stack development.